1886 at the Conference of Berlin because um, the uh, colonial countries, France, Germany, Dutchland, um, England, Portugal, and Spain, they had a conference there to decide that because they were fighting each other just to get a point. And um, they decided that anyone who had a trade point at the mouth of a river would be the owner on the inside of that point. So uh, England was in the Gambia. We had uh, Portuguese in the south of Senegal, Portuguese in the south in uh, Casamas. We had Zigenshoch. We had Portuguese in Sali, the, the resort is uh, 80 kilometers away from Dakar. We had France in Dakar, France in Saint Louis. And uh, that's the way they split the country. So, and they made negotiations. Um, Portuguese accepted to leave Casamance and Sali. And uh, France gave them the opportunity to fish in a certain area in the north. And each of them owned that part. England stayed in here for several years. We tried to, um, France tried to conquer this part. But as far as there was always fighting, France and England were always, the United Kingdom were always fighting. This, um, they never accepted. England never accepted to withdraw from the Gambian River. And Gambia, Republic of the Gambia, the capital city was Bathurst. And uh, up to 1965, Gambia became independent. That was in November, is it? February 18th. It is February. Okay, February 18th, the, uh, the Gambia became independent. And right before independence, Senegalese authorities, Senghor, tried to um, convince England to uh, let it be a part of Senegal instead of being a colonial uh, point. But, you know, before that, it was a point for British to see what French people were doing inside Senegal. And that helped them. They were selling um, weapons to Senegalese people who were resisting to uh, fighting colonial, French colonial power. And after that, when we got independent, we negotiated with England, still refused. Look at on those, those trees, you have fruits, red fruits. Uh, they and then yellow fruits. They are cashew apple. They have cashew apple, and at the edge of it is the is the nut. You say it later on. In those okay. trees. Okay, let me tell you what. We are going to get a bit now. So you see the fruits? Yes. Yeah. Fruit so you have at the end, do you want to just touch it if you want? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. No. Huh? You want to get one? Yes. Yes, you can. Can you give me one? Yes, we can. So family with you zoom while our brother they pick a few of the fruits.
and thumb. Right by it is mango, mango, and more mango. So you have that. That's mango. This is the way it is. So you, okay, you want one? Yes. Okay. There you are. Uh, that's cashew apple, and this is a cashew nut. Sorry, cashew? I lost one. This is a cashew nut. You had to, you had to, yes, to, to burn it, to grill it, to get the uh, the nut inside it. What do you do with the rest of it? You eat it. You, you, you can add, yeah, you, you, you can jam, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Oh they go and make your smoothie. Yeah. It's really yes. It's good. But don't. You need to wash it first. Sorry, I'm I'm me. He grown up on okay. Yeah. We make, we make uh, kind of jam with it. Hmm? Either you plant it or you burn it and get the, the uh the cashew is inside it. Inside this? Inside the cashew that bottom? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Natural, these are part of the natural economy. <laughs> yeah. But the, it, it might leave some stains on your cloth if they are white. They um, you might have some stains. The the, uh, the juice falling on your cloth might leave some stains on it. Yeah. And uh, they make a kind of wine with the with the juice of it, it comes out of it. Go ahead, catch your apple. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, get, let's get it washed off for you and then you can use it, okay? Now, can we touch? We should be touching it because it's like toxic, right? No, it's not toxic. Nothing is toxic. Just a way to. Um, what can I say that? If it drops on your clothes, that you like, the juice you can leave some stains. Oh, you stain, you, uh, yes, you can't remove. <laughs> So, for several years, we tried to um, integrate Gambia to Senegal. It never, never worked. Up to uh, 1981, there was a coup in the Gambia, and the Senegalese army uh, interfered and took the president back. The president, Dada Kaila Bajawala. What is this brown stuff? Hmm? This is brown stuff. What's that? What is this? See? That's the, that's the cashew tree. That's the uh, yeah, cashew seed. The, 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 the bounce of the cashew seed. Yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs> and uh, we, 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 um, when we, we got an, uh, we got an uh, agreement to make a confederation between Senegal and the Gambia. <laughs> the Senegambian confederation. All right. I thought I was taxed back there, though. And the Senegambia uh, Gambia Confederation live with 10 years because you know taxes in Senegal are very high and the Gambia imports a lot of stuff and most of it, most of the things they import, they just resell it in Senegal. And uh, when we had this that Where are you going? Yes, so family, we are driving through. Where? What are they doing? What are they doing? We're ready for the smiling cools. Please, Charlie, Charlie, help us. 
Well, I'm not going to do this.